Hi everyone, this is Lena. Welcome to Lena's Home Creation and I hope you all have a happy new year and a lovely Christmas and I'm back on and um, doing some videos for my YouTube channel and here I would like to show you some uh, easy book folding pages craft that um, I'm able to share with you on um, this YouTube channel and so here I have a book that's uh, by 18 centimeters wide and 20 centimeters in length so I downloaded the pattern off the internet you can get these some are free and some you have to pay for so you can have any type of book um, these are the reader readers digest books and this one happens to be 526 pages I wish I had uh, less pages but this is all I have to hand so what you have to do is um, so this book is 526 pages and you want to half it so it'll bring you down to roughly about 200 and uh, I don't know 263 pages and then I counted the stripes on the heart there were 73 lines and then you half it again which brings you back down to 226 roughly and we're doing that because we want to get our heart right in the center so you've just got to really calculate um, I'm not really good at maths by the way so you just got to really calculate and, and sort of use a bit of common sense and see how you're going to line up this heart and bring it so that it's in the center and so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the photocopy printer of the heart is in line with the book page that's very important and you have to do that keep checking that all the way through and then we're just going to mark our little lines with pencil that's the first line there the stripe on the heart and you're just going to put a little two marks one at the top and one at the bottom and you just keep continuing this method all the way through until you've completed your heart here you don't have to do this but I'm numbering the pages as I go along and that way I can keep double checking that I haven't made any mistake and so you're just going to keep repeating this pattern and you're going to move the lines along each page and numbering your pages and that just gives you a little guideline so that you don't make any mistakes and that it just helps you along and just keeps you on track um, as you're doing your heart so here I've just numbered the first page number one and I also put a little pink dot or pencil mark up it's entirely up to you what you do so here once i've marked up the two lines I'm, I'm just folding it making sure my line is straight on the pencil mark and along the print of the book like that that's how you need to keep doing that fold so this is just to show you you can either keep folding marking folding or you can just mark up all the way through and then leave the fold till last but I'm just doing the few to show you basically you just do uh, whatever you feel comfortable with and so here I'm just marking up my uh, little uh, lines and marking page two because I'm on line two and I'm also putting a little pink dot so it gives me a guideline you can also number the heart so that um, that also helps you keep on track So you're just going to repeat this process all the way through until you finish your heart. Another way you can do is um, put a little line on the printed heart and just number them as you go along as well. And that's another good way of doing that. So you can see how I'm lining up. Another thing that I do is I do the bottom folds first of the book then I turn the book over and do the other folds and that way you can keep on the straight line of the pencil line that you did and it just keeps your folds nice and neat. Uh, just basically do whatever feels comfortable to you. <laughs>
I would suggest if this is your first time doing these book page folding art that you start off with a simple heart now these hearts come in various sizes and you can go on your computer and increase the size or make it smaller and try and get it to the size of your book so uh, try and get the measurements right so you want the heart in the middle of the book as in um, not too close to the edge of the book the top or the bottom so you want it to sit uh, as if it's floating in the center so you just need to do a few measurements before you print out your heart I just want to point out something, a little tip I learned is if you come to a picture on the book, either remove that picture or as soon as you've marked up that page, fold it straight away because it's very hard to see the pencil mark. So what I tend to do is actually fold that page straight away uh, instead of just leaving it to the end. So now I've come to the halfway point of my heart and here you can see this is just half the heart, that's the half side. And then um, what you could do is you, if the page is too big you can fold your printed page so that it slots in nicely into the book or you can leave as is if your book is wide enough. So here's just a little diagram to show you that's just half of the heart that you can see there that we've already folded. And we're going to speed up this video and I'm going to show you how I'm doing the uh, right side now of the heart.
So now I've come to the end of my folded book pages and this is how the heart looks. So you can see some of the lines aren't exactly uh, accurate so you really need to use a really fine tip pencil or pen and that way your lines will be a little bit more accurate. Make sure you've got a really decent ruler to see the markings on the ruler. Um, but this isn't, uh, from a distance, it doesn't look too bad. It looks really beautiful. And you can decorate it with some flowers or, you know, anything you like that suits your home decor. You can cover the book in different paper covers um, to give it a really nice uh, look. Um, so it's entirely up to you. This is just a, a ruler just showing you the width of the book and the length of the book. And I've just tied a little bow uh, to the heart so you can decorate it just to give you guys an idea of the endless possibilities of decorating old books and just start off with a heart and then work your way around to maybe more uh, harder patterns that there are available on the internet just look for um, book folding patterns some of course you have to pay for and some are free on the internet or maybe if you're good with uh, the computer you can go on the word processing and maybe create some of your own designs so it's entirely up to you so here just carry on watching the video and you'll see some of the other book folding pages that I did and I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel to see some more of my Lena's home creations and I'll see you again next Wednesday for some more uh, of my crafts see you soon bye Bye.